Hey everybody, Will here today. Chaska and Bailey are busy running around the house trying to shed as much as possible because today we are going to be reviewing the Bissell Clean View Swivel Bagless Vacuum Cleaner specifically made for pets. Now, I can't stress this enough. This is not in paid promotional content for Bissell. I just thought this would be a great thing to, uh, well, do a product review on for other people looking at vacuum cleaners, especially for those who have long-haired dogs or multiple pets in the house. So, without further ado, I'm going to be using my Apache Pie knife. I'm going to get this open and we can get the review started. All right, so as you can see, this just kind of comes in a very generic box. Uh, we'll see if there's more to it. We'll get this opened up. Okay, so this is just the box itself. There's no box within a box going on. Um, got some documents here. All right, so the first thing I have is the Turbo Eraser Pet. Looks like for doing more like uh, couches, which is perfect. Brush attachment. Not really sure what that is. And this corner attachment for getting those deep corners. Okay. This out. Nope. Maybe not yet. Okay, so we have the top. Looks like the hose here. Have a box for the cats to play in now. And if I lift this up, all right. So first thing I can tell it does have uh, it looks like triple action brush cleaning, uh, bagless. There's a little marker here for full. Pretty sure that's only going to last like three pass through, so we'll see how well this does. Um, up top has a suction indicator, and then the release is just a simple button up top. Pretty simple. I'm gonna get this thing assembled. Um, I think it all just kind of snaps together actually, and we can test this out. pretty impressed with this thing. I picked it up on Amazon. It was on sale for $90. Uh, the regular one that is the non-pet version and the only thing I can tell between the two is that the pet version comes with the turbo pet eraser for working on your couches. Um, it, it's about $30 more but because it was on sale it was the exact same price so overall pretty happy with it. Now I did vacuum my floors just the other day and uh, this guy picked up all of this stuff. Uh, so that's a lot of extra junk that my vacuum wasn't picking up. Uh, just overall review of it though, um, I mean there's a few things that bug me. Like I said, I'm really happy with it, but one of the big things is when you take this off to empty it, if you just kind of set it in and you think it's good and it's sitting there, uh, it's actually not. It has to Take a little bit of force to snap it in, and when you hear that snap, it's connected. Uh, that messed me up a few times while I was vacuuming my house with this. Uh, the other thing is that fill line is like uh, to about right here, so ridiculously short. Um, honestly, it took me like uh, six or seven empties on this vacuum, whereas my other one 
was about three, two to three, uh, emptying the canisters. But hey, maybe that's why my other one was broken. I don't know. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. And if you pick one of these up for yourself to use, let me know in the comment section below if you're getting the same results that I do. As always, thanks for watching.